When I say a thing is a part of me, I really mean it. I remember my mother used to tell me, if you don't have a gift and you don't share it, then you're doing God at a service. So to be able to come out here and share my head and talent, it's been amazing. So hopefully you guys liked it and can appreciate my other side. It was awesome. You might not be known for being a professional singer. I don't know, but you have a really natural voice. I just feel like we got a like real hidden talent here. I think we're going to be really surprised. All of it was just a great experience, something that I'll always remember. Always remember, it's nothing like building memories because you can't change them. I play a sport where we don't wear masks and we don't wear helmets. Everyone pretty much sees us. When you go places, you're recognizable. Um, but with this thing on and you, we got to wear masks once we get here and they're giving us robes and hoodies that say, don't talk to me. I want that hoodie, by the way. But it's just been, it was different and it was fun. What in the world is a thingamajig? Well, Nick, a thingamajig is a thing that likes to majig. When I was a little kid, I used to dream about being on Fox, so to be able to come out here, be in front of those judges that I've seen my whole life, has just been humbling. I was honored by the judges, especially when they, uh, when I sang the Casey Musgrave song. You know, they were crying, and I got a standing ovation for it and everything. That one shocked me the most. I was speechless after that one. It was kind of cool just to, for them to do that, because I've never had that happen to me before. <laughs> so it was cool. Brian McKnight. Dennis Rodman. Michael Strahan. All the clues <laughs> say that you're an athlete, but your voice is saying you are a singer. Your voice is saying you're baby Jesus, so <laughs> thank you. They were guessing like Dennis Rodman, Donnell Jones. Out of all the judges, Ken guessed right today. It was funny because I was under the mask and I was like, dang, he's spot on. <laughs> so it was kind of awesome to have him guess right. I know he felt great about it when I actually when I actually reveal who I was you saw how crazy he went oh sing him a jig you were so um what you would call it it was amazing <laughs> I did not expect that voice coming out of that body and that what you would do or sing him a dig or whatever sing him a jig I really loved it it's kind of like the game of basketball you see the result but you don't see the grind and it's the same thing with these shows there's so many people that are important. Every piece matters. And like in one of my clues, my mom always taught me that if you want something in this world, you have to work hard for it. Same thing applies to now. Whatever I do, I just try to give it my all. If I come up short, at least I can live with the fact that I gave it my all. You're getting really comfortable on stage, and your voice is unbelievable. There's a lot going on in our world today. A lot of it, unfortunately, is negative. So if I had anything to say, I, was, I would encourage not only my fans, but everyone to lend a helping hand and do something positive for someone other than yourself. Because if I do it, and you do it, and your best friends do it, maybe we can create a chain effect. And maybe for once, really, our world would be a better place. If I could encourage a little kid who has a dream, I would also say, you can achieve any dream you want. Just know that feeling that you have on you know you can do it, but it's like, man, no one else thinks you can. All that matters is that you know you can. I'm living proof of it, so. I encourage you guys to stay positive, be encouraged, and love one another. Peace and love.